You oh. sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. <sighs> Dude, why the fuck would you wake me up? I was trying to sleep. You prefer silence then? As do I, my dear child. As do I. For is silence not the symphony of death? The orchestration of Sithis himself? No. Ironic, then, that I come to you now as speaker for the Dark Brotherhood. My name is Lucian Lachance, and my voice is the will of the Night Mother. I severely doubt it. She's been watching you, observing as you kill, admiring as you end life without pity or remorse. The Night Mother is most pleased. That is why I stand here before you. I bear... An offering, an opportunity to join our rather unique family. Well, since you're the speaker, I guess I have no choice but to listen to your ass. Please continue. Ah, I find your etiquette refreshing. Now please, listen carefully. On the green road to the north of Breville lies the Inn of Ill Omen. There you will find a man named Rufio. Kill him, and your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Very well. Do this, and the next time you sleep in a location I deem secure, I will reveal myself once more, bearing the love of your new family. Hopefully it's not HIV. I'll say nothing, because I won't promise you anything. But then again... I would be lying if I chose the second option. Please, accept this token from the Dark Brotherhood. It is a virgin blade and thirst for blood. Okay. May it serve you well, as does your silence. Now I bid you farewell. I do hope we'll meet again soon. We will. Mr. Smiley Face, take care. I'll see you. I'll see you in the next episode, perhaps, when I go to Rufio and fuck him up. OG style. Cause I'm a crip. I'm no blood. I'm no. I'm no. But Clud. <laughs> Got him, motherfucker. We'll embrace you as family. Yeah, yeah. All right. Get the fuck out of here, bitch, nigga. Hey everyone, beautiful view we have out here. However, we're going to do something very special, and that's go ahead and do a Dark Brotherhood mission. It seems that I should have this quest on my active list, and we have to uh, traverse ourselves all the way over there so we can kill Rufio. Quite a long time ago, Lucien Lachance asked me if I could do a very important assignment for him, and it was just that thing in mind. I've never really met this Rufio person before. Shit, how am I gonna know what he looks like? Or better yet, how do I know he's not stronger than I am? This isn't a game of Dragon Ball Z or Inuyasha. Unless... I am the demons. No, that's a terrible fucking meme. And most importantly, unlikely. Shit, but with that said, we're not even close to being there. We've got quite a bit of a journey ahead of us, and I hope you'll be here along the way. Nah, you could just fucking tab out, nigga. I don't care. So, The Other Scrolls Oblivion is a very, uh, special game. I'm back to playing it again. And, um... Man, I'm trying to remember the last time I... Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was one certain occasion where I got into a fight with this guy because I, like, stole from him or something. Yeah. Not on best terms with the guards since we've last met. I think this is very cool, though, because... Okay, let's see if we haven't done anything other than that. Yeah, yeah, we still go there. So, why... Okay. Oh, does it want me to go somewhere other than this? What's what's going on? No, I'm not supposed to go there. I'm supposed to go here. 
Well, we're gonna disregard that map and just go across the fucking, uh, I don't know, we'll call this the waterway. I'm not sure if this is a river or a bay or whatever. Into the waterfront we go. Keep in mind, if the music changes, that means I'm being chased by a piranha of some sorts. Oh shit, and you know what? I have, like, no HP. Yeah, I just realized that right now, so, uh... Hmm. We're gonna have to figure something out. Yeah, that'll work well. And then I'll do some, uh... Shit. We'll do some good minor wounds healing. I hear Rufio's a bitch-ass nigga. Nah, I'm just kidding around. We're quite a distance away, and, as I said, I don't know what he looks like. His appearances or any other kind of physical standards. Oh, shit. Let's get out my weapon. I can't have these motherfuckers catching me off guard. I'm always with the shits. That's right, bitch. It was just your imagination. Now get the fuck out of here. Looks like we found our target. Oh, oh yeah. That's the thing I was gonna say. So, I went into the, uh... <laughs> oh gosh, I went into the castle, snuck up to the third floor, dropped all the way down but on the top of one of the seats so you don't die from the fall damage, and I stole the High Master Staff of the Battle Mage. Yeah, that, that's right. And don't you say another fucking word. Oh, shit! Haha! -ha. I'm now an apprentice marksman. And you are now... an expert at dying. Ow! Spoke too soon. Alright, enough with the games. Burn in hell! <gasps> yes, just like the Roblox death, your demise has been my delight. No, really, does the sound of my voice get on your nerves? <laughs> it bugs me sometimes. I better get out of here. Time to head home. Oh shit, I'm using a stolen weapon? <sighs> God. Well, hopefully the guards don't catch me with this one. We got quite a bit of an adventure before we make it to the uh, inn where Rufio's at. Unless, of course, this is it. In which case, well, I don't know what else to say. Nah, this is just some kind of small settlement. Let's move onward. So, uh... I'm a little bit of a, a, a virgin, but most importantly, a virgin to the uh, Oblivion Dark Brotherhood series. I only made it past this mission and not much else. I also haven't completed the Oblivion main quest, so I'm sure I'm in for quite a bit of a surprise. I have, however, seen uh, Skyrim all the way through, and the Skyrim main quest journey is certainly one that was interesting. In fact, there was one time on the uh, Skyrim quest where I couldn't go any further than uh, chaining like the dragon that tells you the location of Alduin. Um, because of that, I had to stop the Let's Play in its tracks. I think a couple months afterwards, and this was without me recording, or I think the recording got broken or something. Because I'm pretty sure if I had done it, I would have recorded it and commentated all over it, you know, in the in the age that I was. This was a long-ass time ago. Oh, shit. Another Oblivion Gate. Hmm. Interesting. Well, as I was saying... Fuck. That's a huge one. So, the, uh... The cool thing about Skyrim is, like, obviously there's a lot more enthralling appeal to it, and that's kind of a controversial opinion. But, at the same time, when you fuck up like that, and as young as I was, because I'm quite a few years older than I was when I recorded all the Skyrim Let's Plays, um, 
I don't have the opportunity to go back in time and, you know, say the things in the, like, I don't know, 16, 17 year old voice I was back then. Yeah, eat shit, nigga. Holy crap. Everything's getting all bad. And uh, holy crap, if, if this is. If this is where fucking Rufio is holed up in, I swear to God. Yeah, it is. Like, dude, the Oblivion Gate's right here. You think this is the best place to hide out yo bitch ass? Motherfucker. You know, better yet, let me go ahead and try some target practice. I can't wait to practice this on you. Haha. <laughs> Bullseye. I'm gonna let him know I'm a settler waiting to settle in for the night. Appropriately named Inn of Ill Omen. Well, yes, I'm gonna do you in. Not you, unless you're Rufio. Sup? There's evil afoot, citizen, and I've little time for chatter. What is it? Why don't you wear a mask? Well, I guess you're not Bane. Who's Hieronymus Lex? Yeah, I've heard of him. Isn't he a soldier or guardsman in the Imperial City? I thought you would know because he is the same city of location as you. But I guess you're useless. Bye-bye. Move along. No, you move along. I don't want to see your face here again. Ah, oh, fuck. Here. Give me a drink. We got plenty of rooms if you want one. Ain't nobody staying here these days except old Rufio. Ooh, Rufio. Uh, tell me more about the inn first. <laughs> That's a horrible name for an inn, I know, but I just can't bring myself to change it. Besides, I like the sign. Hmm. I have a feeling my speech craft might need to be improved in order for you to talk more about the Rufio character. After all, you're not going to let me slip any Rufies in. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? No, but I will interest you in mine. Here, take like, holy hell, like, you, you can have like eight, dude. Here you go. A good price for a good customer. Yeah, and while you're at it, why don't you take one of uh, these? There you go, now you're broke. Come back and see me again. Most certainly not. Go ahead. Ooh, you're rather friendly. Then I'll try my luck. No, you do me too much. That's just... Yeah, you're a big fat liar. Sorry. Let's try that again. Yeah, that please. You're full of it. What a wonderful blah. <laughs> Is that so? Please. <laughs> You're a big fat lie. Yeah, I get it. I don't want to lose my shirt in this. You're, please. You're pathetic. Good. <laughs> That's just talk. Yeah. Goodness. That. You're pathetic. Well, I'll call that a win. Fuck you. Tell me more about Rufio. Rufio? He's an old codger. Been living here for a couple of weeks now. If you ask me, he's hiding from something. But what do I care? He pays his tab. His room is downstairs, in what I like to call the private quarters. Use that hatch in the floor over there. Uh, but don't expect a warm reception. Hmm. Good point. Why don't you give me a bed first? I'll kill him in the morning. A bed? Well, of course, of course. I've got a small room available right upstairs. First door on the left. Only ten gold. What do you say? You got yourself a deal. All right, then. You're all set. Remember, first door on your left. Oh, shit. I should probably not go downstairs and kill him. Should I? Farewell, and tell your friends... The Inn of Ill Omen is open for business, as always. Sure thing. So, the second one is locked. I wonder what's in there. But I'm not gonna go ahead and try him. I'm a Christian man, besides the murder I'm about to commit. No wonder why this fucking shit's ten gold. Are you fucking kidding me? Get this motherfucker open. Still here? <laughs> You've got nerve, I'll give you that. What? Uh, oh, stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. How the hell did you know I was here? I'm not gonna pay any gold. You can go right to heck. 
My plot has been foiled. Well, I guess I know what I need to do now. Kill you and kill Rufio. Then pay with your blood! Gladly. Let's get this going. This motherfucker thinks he can play some kind of game on a nigga. No, no, no. My greed is better than yet. My greed is better than that, I mean. Well, let's see what we can do. I have a feeling this guy is not going to be kind towards me. But then again, who is in this world? Ha <laughs> <laughs> People are teaming towards me. <laughs> yeah, you better. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're willing to do that for me? I fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. No, they have. You guys finish the job. Do your Do your worst. Now I can see where my ten gold went. What, you think I'm gonna do anything? He said pay with your blood, so I'm gonna let my homies handle him. Me. I'm kind of in disbelief. I, I thought they were going to start punching me or something. I must be a really charming motherfucker. Or well, I'm black. In either case, thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it. Hmm. Don't worry. It's nothing personal. Okay. So I do have to drop some of this stuff. I mean, I was intending to do that as a joke, but as, a, as you can clearly see, these times are rather desperate. And as such, we might need some desperate measures. Hmm. I'll pick these up later. We gotta get my boy ready to go. Fuck, I'm still over-encumbered. I guess this one has to go as well. Alright. Hopefully Rufio's sleeping. He'll have a silent demise. There we go. That was a nice one, two, one, two. Ugh. Sorry about that, buddy. Nothing personnel. I should have used the mace on you, but hopefully I get a bonus for this. All right, now move over. I gotta sleep on this bed. Come on. All right, sweet. <sighs> it's one already. Fuck, am I tired? Well, all right. Hopefully Lucian's a morning person. Hmm. Wait, where's Lucian? Lucian Lachance. Unless he shows up in the next night I sleep. Let me see what this is saying. Oh, in a... Location he deems secure. Well, I guess this isn't good enough for you fucking selective bitches. Alright, fuck you, Rufio. Hopefully you have something nice to give me. Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. 
So, uh, that completes the, uh, <laughs> assault part of that mission. Hmm. What else can I do to get my weight down? Uh, probably eat more healthy, but, uh, I'm not in the mood for that. I guess I'll part with this and hopefully I can pick it up later. Hey, I know I'm, uh, kind of, uh, in an interesting situation, but... Yeah, I still got rooms. What do you need? Hmm. Uh, tell me some rumors. Uh, Blackwood isn't so bad. Once you get used to the flies, and being lost all the time, and the zombies and will-o'-the-wisps. Well, I, uh, I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. I would, however, wish a death upon all my enemies, plus Rufio, who I just killed. Alright, enough of that. Goodbye! Farewell, and peace! <laughs> Don't want to hear it. I, uh, it's a nice, beautiful day outside. Maybe if I sleep right outside, or better yet, sleep in oblivion, I might find myself a nice, good, Lucian with chance to wake me up. Nah, probably not. Hey, who knows, maybe I could sleep in one of their houses. Come on, Lucian La Chance. Take me away. Alright. Oh, wow, you got a bunch of shit here. Oh, what am oh, I to do? Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Fucking furries. Crap. I gotta keep my, uh... uh I've been trying to get through gotta keep my composure. Akavir. It's a fairly interesting read. I've never read that. Listen. Well met. Hi. Can you give me a bed to rest in? A bed you seek? There is one here for you if you have the ten gold to rent it. Consider it a deal. Up the stairs you must go to the first door on your right. That is your room for the night. Yes, and in this thread you must wait until you get a six or eight. Farewell. Peace. Farewell. Oh, what am I to do? They're gone. All gone. Now this is something that will make you surely fight any notions of racism in this game. A nice, really cool fucking bed for only 10 gold. Now that's a lot better than some kind of raggedy shack motherfucking 10 gold I have to pay to keep my cover, only to have it blown by an Imperial Guard who has psychic hearing. Hmm. But I digress. Let me get to bed. Even though I already slept, so let me, let me sleep one hour. I'm taking a bit of a cat nap, if you catch my drift. Sup, so the deed is done. Yeah, How do I know this. You will find that the Dark Brotherhood knows a great many things, for you are now part of the family. Sweet. Uh, my life for, for the brother. <laughs> Indeed. For the slaying of Rufio is the signing of a covenant, the manner of execution, your signature. Rufio's blood, the ink. As a speaker of the Black Hand, I directly oversee a particular group of family members. You will join that group and fulfill any contracts given. Sure. You must now go to the city of Chadenhall, to the abandoned house near the eastern wall. Enter the basement and attempt to open the Black Door. I wonder what he meant by that. You will be asked a question. Answer thusly. Sanguine, my brother. You will gain entrance to the sanctuary. Once inside, speak with Ochiva. We must now take our leave of each other, you and I, for there is much work to be done. I'll be following your progress. Welcome to the family. Ah, uh, well, uh, thanks very much about that. Oh, <laughs> what? I'm not gonna ask you rumors. Don't worry about it, buddy. You are now one with the Dark Brotherhood. Visit Ochiva at the Chaden Hall Sanctuary, and your new life will begin. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, you got it. <sighs> Sorry that the door opens up. Oh, oh, shit, you just do that in front of me. Well, that's cool, too, I guess. All right. Good morning. I'll follow you.
I see you're gonna walk this entire distance like truly someone who's immersed in the game. I've got a lot of respect for that, Mr. Lucian Le What? He just fucking disappeared? How in the fuck? Lucian! I guess that chameleon shit wasn't a placebo after all. Oh, and I'm without pants. Let me go ahead and get myself dressed. Okay. So, we're all the way here. We gotta go all the way over here. For Chayton Hall. For the mystery. And for the glory of the Empire. You know what? I think what the most practical thing to do is, with, you know, a really good conscience and everything, is to steal a horse out of the nearest place we see. So if it's a stables or whatever, you know, who even cares? Who even gives a fool? <laughs> How about this? Because Lucian Lachance is Lucian Incognito. I guess that works for me, and it must really suck for these guys to realize that their buddy from such a long time ago, the guy who's paying the bills and perhaps the only reason why that place is still in operation, have ceased to exist. It's tough, I know, and I wouldn't wish the fate upon anybody. However, such is the life in Oblivion, where you get turned into Oblivion. Wait, was that a horse? Come over here. Don't do this wild horsey stuff on me, mister. I think I see you. Oh no, you're just a deer. Oh, uh, in that case, carry on. This is gonna be one tough mission if we gotta get all the way over there. Nevertheless, it must be done. I'm sure Rufio and all those motherfuckers are going to be happy to see me. In hell? No, because you know we're not actually going to see them. Wait, are these peaceful fellows or are they worshippers or bandits? I guess we'll find out. Hey, sup? You seem like the Christian type. The studious type. The friendly type. I suppose you're researching. You found this place. Now you must find your way within. This sounds like a piece of DLC. And by the way, not interested. But uh I'll I'll give it a little bit more time. Y you guys can just, you know, you know, j just stay there. I'm not going to judge. Man, it's tough to fully play this game through, but at the same time so rewarding. To do this all without any kind of requirement to, you know, fucking fast travel. Yeah, I I'm sure you would rather see this done in 15 seconds than a couple of minutes, but I think it's worth it to do the journey. Gosh, it's so bright out. Hopefully I don't... Oh! Well, it's you. Maybe I have a resist fire up my sleeve. It doesn't look like it, though. Shit. Well, I'll just change my weapon to the one that will kill you. Ah, how are you so tough? Aren't you supposed to be in oblivion or some shit? Yeah, you better stop, asshole. I want another one of you motherfuckers? No, I'm not even bothering. Goodbye. Let me get my fire circlet. Make sure I'm resisting a good and adequate amount of fire. Yeah, I'm not interested in you, thought. Be gone. It looks like I've evaded you. Successfully. Now in this bright area, I'm sure we have only seen one of these terrible beings. Ah yes, the mudcraps that are more fierce than us. 
I'll have to pass on the offer this far, though. Alrighty. Time to go stone hopping. I don't think my athletics is entirely high enough to do this, but it's worth a try. Fuck. There we go. Oh boy. I am now have the dodge ability. Wow. What? Blocking while jumping makes you dodge in the direction of the jump? I guess I'll have to test that out in combat. I'm not sure if it's working. It was worth a mention though, I guess. Those hops really do bring more strength into your ability. Hmm. Now I wonder who's attacking me now, and from which direction that is. Because I ain't seen nobody on either side. Regardless, let's continue onward. Ah, yes. Nothing better than procedurally generated prairie. That brings back memories. Not really, though. M much of this was kind of new to me. Oh, what's this? A wild horse? You don't say. Hey, sup, buddy? You mind if I just, uh, steal your shit? Get the fuck away from me, thought! <laughs> That's what you get for dismounting, bitch nigga. Alright, keep on going and don't stop until the cops drop. Yeah, you better try and use your arrows to see if you can deter me. It's probably not gonna happen. And better yet, I should probably get off of the main road. Take that, Imperial City Forester. This is a one fast, uh, wolf. But fortunately, he's not going to attack me, because I don't know, I think it's because of the engine or something. They don't have the ability to attack while in motion. They have to stop briefly or something. Well, that's interesting. At least it makes the encounters a little bit more neat. Now, hopefully the guards don't notice I stole their shit. Speaking of which, fuck. That was some Metal Gear Solid stealth technique, if you know what I mean. Man, hopefully this guy just leaves me alone, or these are like continuously popping up NPCs that just, frankly, don't enjoy me very much. If it's anything else, I'd be pretty pissed. This guy's insistence and persistence is something to marvel at. Yeah, I think I'm all good. That looks like a hunter. I'm sure he means good tidings. Nah. <laughs> Not one bit. Yo, figgity fuck off, my niggas. I know you wanna hate on a brother, or better yet, use some kind of arrows. That's not gonna happen. For your boy is just seconds away from Chaden Hall. Oh, oh shit, you know what would be really funny if I just walk up the door and they arrest me? Let's try. 
Yeah, this isn't mine. Yeah, it's not over Lawbreaker. I'm an innocent human being who just happened to show up in this part of town. And sorry if you're noticing How a bit of a cinematic slowdown. It's just, uh, the consequences of draw distance in a 12-year-old engine. Or more. I mean, wow, I'm pretty sure it is pretty old. Okay, let's see. It's good that we have this nice arrow here. I'm not gonna find myself asking any kind of guard for directions, because I know that'll trigger the, uh, arrest dialogue. Now let's see, it's on the side of the road somewhere. Best get out of view. Hi. There it is. Let's go into sneaking mode, we gotta be stealth on this. Oh yeah, that's right, it's probably on the other side of the, the road, let's see. Oh boy, looks like I have to go in. You know, this is ten times worse than having to check into an Airbnb in Astoria, Queens. True story, by the way. That's the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I have to break into this place so the guards might follow me. I'll have to be stealth. No witnesses. Stop fucking looking at me. You know what? Here, have a coin, beggar. I just need to put your face in the opposite direction. Me children will thank you for your help. Thank, thank. No problem. Blessings of all day upon you. All right, now just. Stand clear. What? Okay. Y yeah, no problem. I'm glad I didn't get arrested there. The cops would have been looking for my ass. I got warrants in 52 states. Shit. How am I gonna do this? I know. I'll wait until night. No, that'd be breaking immersion. Fuck. Such is the life with such constraints. Come on. There has to be one moment where I won't be noticed. Then again, that guard's point of view is rather large. Hmm. I'm not gonna go into an inn any more times. Let's pray to RK. Maybe things will look better from there. Hey, sup? <sighs> I'm sorry I'm so infamous. Praise RK and all these little woodland creatures. I'm Hill the Tall, priest of RK. Nice to meet you. I'm also a trainer in the arts of alteration. I love magic too. I love everything, and everyone. You too. Nice meme. Tell me more about Hall. You know, I'm going to the house across the street because of some murders I have done. Uh, actually one that is worth mentioning, but I won't mention it. I came here because I love nature. Because I didn't want to serve as a boot wizard in a mountain legion in Skyrim. Hmm. Sounds like a fair deal. You too. Yes, yeah, so although you did not know my deal. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm such evil and wicked forces in power. You know what, I might just get myself arrested over this, but it's worth a fucking shot. Into the basement I go.
I've gained entrance into the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I must now speak with Ochiva. You know what? I'm about to do that if I can find her. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome too, talking door. Fuck. Hopefully I'm not developing schizophrenia from all the murders I've committed. <sighs> so, sup? Greetings, brother. Greetings. I am Oshiva, mistress of this sanctuary. I thought her name was Ochiva. Lucien has told me all about you. I welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. You stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need arises. Yeah, yeah. When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family members. Hmm. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. A unique set of armor, lighter than normal leather and black as the void. Hopefully is durable. Now, I've kept you long enough. The Chente is waiting. You'll find him in his quarters. Go now, my child, and may Sithis go with you. Ah, oh, thank you. That's very kind, and it's good to see you're smiling. <laughs> well, Oshi Darnisha, I bid you farewell. Thanks for a quest well complete. Go now, dear family member, and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. Should be warm, though. I mean, this place feels pretty warm. Comfortable, too. Plus, we have a red talking door to keep the cold air out at night. <sighs> Man, this place is cozy. You guys spent quite a bit of gold in getting all these permits approved. I wonder who was responsible for that one. Alrighty, fellas. I'm feeling kind of tired. And also, I'm scared of all the darkness. I might as well pull out a torch while I can. <sighs> yeah, now that's better. Alright, running through the darkness so I can sleep now. Oh. Oh, we got a schemer here, but he's friendly. That's all good. <sighs> Alrighty, y'all. Take care. Hope we have a nice uh, morning, evening, afternoon, or uh, twilight. If uh, that's applicable to you. And good morrow.